to go by Edwin Yearwood. So let me start setting up because I, I know how to do this thing now, right? But I want to say hi to everybody. Big up everybody. Hi, Unruly Shans. How's everybody doing? I know I did a little test earlier today. Hopefully this will work. I did some troubleshooting because I couldn't understand why I have no sound when I invite people on my lives. So I just wanted to talk about that. Pedro Collins, big up yourself. Um, I want to just give a little quick rundown of some news that's been happening in uh, Caribbean entertainment. As you know, Soka Monarch was on the fence. So was um, Chutney Monarch in Trinidad. Both of them were on the fence. Ravi B has pulled out of Chutney Monarch. I'm very concerned about Chutney Monarch, as um, I tell everybody all the time. Chutney Monarch is very, very, very important to Soka. So we can't not have Chutney Monarch going on. So Ravi B pulling out as one of the bigger chutney artists in um, Trinidad and Tobago is a concern to me as well as Soka Monarch in Trinidad will be going on but they've basically dropped the prize money to 300,000 TNT dollars now I don't have the exact conversion but I know that the million TNT dollars used to be or two million dollar prize before and they dropped it you know it's it's a bit of a concern the smaller prize money I actually believe what people are trying to do is, um, you know, trying to force these artists to not want to compete anymore. Because I think that's a very small amount of money. Um, and I'm very concerned about that. So anyhow, I wanted to do two people tonight because I know that, um, you know, when it comes to soca music, I know there's not a lot of promotion and stuff like that. And even though I'm going away from helping the actual, like the small, small artists, I'm going to be working a little bit more with a lot of the bigger artists. So there's an artist that I want to introduce you all to. Well, you probably know who this man is, but I feel like it's a good time for us to talk with him because he literally has revolutionized um St. Lucian Soka. So I'm going to play a couple of songs from him and then I'm going to invite him into the conversation. But um, I don't know if you guys know him, but I wanted to give him a little bit of a spotlight tonight as well as an artist that you all voted for. So here is some of the songs from this St. Lucian artist. You understand what I'm saying? You think it's Teddy and John? Well, tell me who this is singing. Oh, Moto, you're excited now. Share and let everybody know Moto coming on in about one minute. We just said, Miss Up, no. Baby, you 
guys want me to replay? You just came on. Every girl. 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 Any yeah, other people? Yeah, yeah. Wrong one, wrong one. I just played some of your songs and the people got very excited when they heard that you're coming on. A lot of my solution friends are like, no, Babs, you ain't calling Moto. There's no way you're calling Moto. And I'm like, bet you a <laughs> key witch. I bet you you gonna go on a key witch who lie that ass tonight when I bring Moto online. I know a little <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I know a little Moto Moto there, Moto there, Moto there. Yeah, yeah, man. Right? Yeah, yeah, man. What's up? So What's I made up? What's been going on? I made some statements about you the other day. I don't know if you heard them, but I think St. Lucia needs to make you the cultural ambassador because really and truly, <laughs> you have put St. Lucian music on the map so hard all by yourself. Like, Gillo did his thing. You know what I mean? Big up Gillo. Anywhere you did. But like, really and truly, you yeah. really revolutionized the movement. Talk to me about how you got involved in all this, you know, Saint Lucian, Soka, Buyan, all this mixing, dengue segment, and all kind of thing. Tell me how you really got involved in all the production and the music and stuff. Like when I like like as far as like getting started in music. Yeah. Um. Uh. Really, actually, I, 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 when I um. I lived in New York for seven years. I left St. Lucia when I was when I was fifteen. And um yeah. I'm twenty three now. And really actually I never like I wasn't always into music and things like that. I was more into like running, um like right, athletics. Right, right. And um when I came to Brooklyn, when I live when I got to Brooklyn, I was kinda like bored, I would say. Yeah. And um I started like I downloaded the I downloaded the beat program on my computer. And I started doing like beats at first, and just like right. sending it out to send to some artists and stuff like that. And like the the lo like we we had I had a lot of local hits coming out, you know, when I just started. Right. Um, and then I grew and grew, and I said, yo, if I could do all them nice beats, I could, you know, try to sing on it and things. And, um, right. So moreover, I would say I started professionally singing in like more like four years ago. Okay. Yeah, about four years ago, and um. From there, I kept on, you know, just kept on making the various links, making the various, you know, whatever to, to you know, up the movements. <laughs> right, right. So movement. what do you like better, production or, or art, being an artist? Um, I like performing. Um, I think because more, I, I, you know, I have, I have the performance style. Like, I, I could entertain people. Um, right, like, what's up with this greasy waistline thing that you have going on? Cause like the first time I ever see you dancing, I was like, I feel this boy's Beijing, you know. This boy has a little bit of the, a little small walk up in him, you know. Cause I see some Lucian dancing and y'all good, you know. But you have a little bit of Beijing walk up in you there, a slight walk up thing going on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I've I've always been dancing from a from a child, like okay. five, four years old. I've been, you know, whining. Um, but yeah, I like I like I would say I'm I'm fifty fifty with both, cause I love okay. creating stuff. You know, I love creating like as far as the music and beats, creating something. You know, it makes a good feeling, but it gives an even more better feeling when or hyper feeling when you see people jump into that song or the crowd going crazy to your songs and kind of vibe like that. You understand? Right, 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 yeah. right, right. So you got a song this year with Lyrical, man. That song there, trust me, yo. That song there, gone clear. I mean, the whole rhythm to me is 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 my pick right now for fast rhythm of of, of 2008. <laughs> yeah. Real talk. Same I even did an article on it. It's, it's, that's my pick. Like it's it's a it's a toss up between the skinnies and then yours and Lyrical um song on it. 
I'm surprised Marshall is in the back. You know what I mean? Like I thought Marshall would have been the front runner on the rhythm, well, but you you guys well, track well, right here. You know? In Trinidad, in Trinidad, hey, Marshall is the front runner because obviously it's, it's Marshall. You understand? Right. right but right, I think right. more towards the year when the year is like in the midst of like summer, party lit will be the, the, the rhythm, the song on the right. rhythm. Yeah. Right. Because so who do you who, who do you want to work with going forward now that you have Marshall? Because I mean he's the top of Soka, right? So it's like who is your eye on next to work with? You know. Um, I mean, I've worked this year. I, I kind of like, I've met both of my, um, uh, my, my goals or so my career goals is to work with Marshall and work with Bungie Gallen. Um, right. um, so right now, really and truly, it's up the movements, so even more movements. We'll give, um, Conscience, we'll give Charlie Blacks, we'll give Business Signal, more of the Jamaican dancehall artists, you know. Um, I like Major Lazer vibes as well. I, I, I really want to work with him too. Um, uh who else and i i really actually don't mind working with new i like new talents as well so any artist in the caribbean i have worked with i would i'd work with them too right 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 yeah. so you know this segment is called the juicy segment right so i i'm gonna ask you some juicy questions like some nosy things you you, you can you <laughs> can slide over some if you don't want do you have any beef yeah. with anybody in Soka? Is there anybody in Soka like um that you have beef with that you would cuff down if you see them, or are you good with everybody? <laughs> no, nah, man, I'm not the type of person to hold grudges against nobody. Um, I don't, I, I don't think I have any beef with anybody in the Soka business as far as okay. I know right now. Um, Maybe people have beef with me that I don't know of. Um. But me personally, right. I don't hold no grudges against against nobody, especially when it comes to music. You know, it's strictly business. Um, obviously, there's a few heads that don't like my name. My few, I mean, more more in Lucia though. It's more artists in San Lucia that don't like me because I don't send them my beats and stuff like that. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. okay so you married? You married? You engaged? You're dating? You're horning? Like, what's going on over there in that yeah, world? Like, there? Single girl. <laughs> so I you, single man. You are you fake single or are you? Really I really single. single. A I lot of you guys have come up here. A lot of you guys have come up here and say you single, and then behind the scenes, you know, woman has messaged me and say they got three children with you and all kind of things. So you oh, fake you single or real yeah. single? <laughs> now I'm single. I had a girlfriend last year, but it was too much to deal with. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it was too much to deal with when it comes to like the type of person I am and the, all the whining and all the girls that's around me and this, 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 this and that. I was like, yeah. you know, I'm out. <laughs> what, what, what kind of um, what kind of uh, woman would you date now since you're single? Are you looking to get back into a relationship with anybody, or you just wanna just mingle a bit and just sow your oats and thing? Well, what, which one are you doing? Oh, uh, mingle, man. I mean, yeah. Having a girl is like, I mean, obviously, having a girl is like, it's a lot of attention. I, you know, re y'all require a lot of attention. And right now, I have a busy schedule and traveling. And Hold on, don't say you all. I'm, I'm, I'm Babzimus Prime. I'm, a, I'm an Autobot. I'm a Transformer. So I am not part of the the woman need attention crew. I am a <laughs> robot, right? Well, so I, don't put me in that so, mix. Yeah, probably, I, probably, I, work I, off, I work off a diesel. I work up right. a diesel. You know what I mean? Well, then I okay, probably need a woman that's, um, how you call it, mature enough to understand what I have to do as far as my music uh, career goes and what I have to, how I have to perform and how I have to act, you know, and things right. like that. That's fine. But, yeah, man, All right. I just say I'm chilling for now. Whatever comes, comes still. All right, so tell me a little secret about your, what you're working on or something that nobody knows. And you're like, Babs, you is the first person in the world, you and your fans following. Y'all is the first to hear you. So. <laughs> give me a sample of a beat. Give me something a that nobody has. Something All right. that no one has. All right, so this is, this is um, let's see, can I change the camera right here? Let me yeah, see. Go ahead. This is called the Posey Rhythm, which I'll be dropping in St. Lucia for 2018. Okay. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you.
Yeah, you go voice that. Like bounty kill. <laughs> I got a bounty kill oh, voice. Yeah, Even though I've been voiced on that. I have so much bits there, man. I'm just trying to figure out which one I want to tackle for this year. Because I have two rhythms out, which is the Guada rhythm with Bungie Galen and them. Pim Pim with Marshall. Right. And um, the Take Jam with Shawn Marshall. So I don't, I don't want to saturate the year too much. Right. You understand? So, because I know right, I have right. three songs out already. If them three songs doing like, like really well, I ain't going right. to do nothing for the year. Yeah. So um, I know you're traveling and thing. Thank you for for calling in tonight. I just want to ask a quick question. Anybody that's listening, I see a lot of people talking about music, trying to get a hold of it. There's a lot of DJs online. And how can an artist get on one of your beats? Just talk quickly about how people can get in contact with you. Um, they could message me on Instagram. You know, I'm really cool. I don't I don't uh ignore Instagram messages. Uh, true, Moto true. underscore I love Soka. Moto underscore I love Soka. Um, you guys could check out all my beats and stuff on my YouTube page, which is Tim Fox. T E T E A M um F O X X Tim Fox. Um, yeah, and just could message me on Instagram or whatever. Email me lashleywinter at gmail dot com, and um, we're gonna keep on. You know, keep the, the, the communications going. And we work it someone on the website. Someone wants to on... ask about being your personal designer. I don't know if they mean stylist or website design. So forever, Jess, Jesse, ask, be clear on that when you say designer. But go on, Moto. We're yeah. listening. Um, yeah, we work in, we kind of, we work, me, Peter, Peter is on the live right now. Peter, bear for me. Yeah, okay. we work in on the official website so we could have, so we could have um, everything centralized on, um, you know, it sounds like bookings and um, the clothing and everything. And uh, right. you could order shit on the website. So we're working on that currently. So hopefully before summer, we have an official website pumping still. All right. Well, um, Moto, so bigger stuff. You know what? I'm going to talk to somebody in St. Lucia to get you a big job around there in, 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 as an ambassador. Because trust me, <laughs> if, if you, you, you like as a one-man army really put St. Lucia on yeah. the map. Um, the only other person I ever seen this much power is Gillow back in the day. You know what I mean? Like Ricky T did it slightly, but yo, <laughs> you have everybody on 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 Lucian Beast right now. They gotta give you, they got to give you some big money round there or something. I can <laughs> talk to somebody. I can tell them, look, give my boy Moto something, or I can yeah, yeah. Yeah. pay yeah, that yeah, yeah. ass over there. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, man. I I, I plan to Lucia yeah. after doing that. I plan to Lucia. Um, February 16th, um, I'm going to stay for maybe about uh, maybe a week or so, do some groundwork, foundation work, then go back to New York, do the traveling tours, ting, 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 come back to in June. Yeah, so we have a, we have a few shows. Let me see if I can show the people where I'm going this year, this far. Okay. Um, let me switch. So, this is my schedule this far for the people then. Okay. Um, so February, is, well, we're gonna start from. Yeah, so February seventeenth. When I when I touch Lucia, February sixteenth, I'm going straight right. to Martinique. February February seventeenth. Okay. Okay. Then I'll be going. I I going up to New York. So we got Jump Cafe in Virginia. We got Stadium Nightclub in Toronto on the eleventh. Toronto when? Hold on. What day are you coming to Toronto? When? Where is Toronto? March eleventh. Stadium Nightclub. I gonna be there. I gonna be there. <laughs> yeah, March eleventh. Um, All right. Yeah, we're okay. gonna go back to St. Vincent for Cheaters. That's Hyper Four Thousand events. Um, we got something in Brooklyn called Illusions. Um, on the seventeenth, we got March thirty first. We got Gimme Soka in Barbados. That's Father Fox okay. event. Uh, April first, we got Aquamele in St. Lucia. Um, April twenty nine, we got the London um gig pending. Uh, May right. twenty to May ten to fourteen, we got Ibiza, Spain, which is the Ibiza Soca Festival. Uh, we got May twenty six, which is um Flag Fest in Orlando, Orlando Carnival, as well as Atlanta uh, Carnival. Um, we got Agua in June. We got twenty June twenty second. We got Hooky Life in Baltimore. Lil Kerry launch still pending for Grenada. Yeah. July seventh, we got Saint Martin Wet Fetter, and July seventh, we got Color Color Me Red Sanusha. We're still working on 
gigs in St. Lucia as well. So, well, looking, you should have you you give me the list of the places you're not going because that list real long, boy. You you touring hard, boy. <laughs> you better just tell me where you ain't going because you're going everywhere, boy. Yeah, yeah, but anyhow, yeah, yeah. I'm going to let you go. Respect for calling in tonight. Everybody was like, oh, Moto, I love him on my Facebook page and thing. I said, let me see if I can squeeze you in a little bit and thing. And, <laughs> you know, next time I'm going to get you to yeah. walk up on video. March 11th, I'm going to come and videotape the waistline and thing. And we're going to do a vlog and thing. And we're going to roll out and thing. All right? Yeah, man, of course. All blessings. All right. A lot of the ladies want to say good night to you, so blow a kiss to the ladies. Can you say you're uh, single? So I, can, I can cover my eyes. And big up, big up, big up, big up to the ladies on the live right now. Big up all my girls. Yeah, well, big up, big ups. I'll see. Let me see who we could shout out there before we leave. Um, Jamaica Chocolate. We got Debulan. Um, we got my Bobby Death Masters there still. Uh, we got We Are Forever Death. We have Living My Life to the Fullest. We got Chinese Doll. The audio like it gone bad. Yeah, I hear you now. I can't hear you. Yeah, you, you hear me? There you are. Yeah, I hear you now. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. Big up all the girls. All right, man. Thank you so much, my friend. We go link up and talk soon, all right? Respect, yeah, man, brother. Yeah. Okay. All right, bye. Yeah. So there you have it. That's Moto out of St. Lucia. He is probably like real talk, single handedly, like making things work out here. So, you know, I managed to squeeze two artists in tonight. The next artist I squeeze in, in is somebody who I I don't know if I how I gonna intro this artist. He ready to come on on the live too, you know. But um, I gonna set him up now, and I am going to let. I actually let me play a song from him. So I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to tell tell who this is by just let me feel. Let me play. Let me let me play a song. Let me play a song here for him now. See if you know who this is. Let's see if you know who this is. <laughs> Oh. 
wine for me. Bob Bob make them wine for me. Black Sam make them wine for me. Girl come wine for me. running allergies you know how those things will go he just messaged me and tell me he ready to go so you know kurt when the bar and i have been cool for many years i actually who introduced him to little rick <laughs> i said i said the two of you need to do a song and then these two motherfuckers came up with monster whiners and didn't even call my name in the song but we gonna deal with his ass in a minute so um i figured that because we all voted for kerwin last week um, uh, at first, Patrice was leading, but then a lot of the people who watched the live afterwards, um, they came back and they said um, that they wanted Kerwin Dubois. And, you know, Kerwin Dubois doesn't really do a lot of interviews. A lot of these guys don't really do a lot of interviews. And, um, but they go do an interview with Babsy because I'm the Caribbean cultural ambassador of the world, right? So let's get him on the, on the line here. You know, technology for a lot of these people is very, very, very um, deep. So we're trying to set this up right now. So hold on, let me see if I could get him on here again. So we need to um, get him to call in on the Instagram live. He's never done this before. I've taken away all these people's virginities, all of them. None of them never know how to do this thing. So I got to walk him through this, right? So, yeah, Kerwin is one of my big artists. Hold on. Kerwin, call in on um, my Instagram. No, come on my Instagram and call in. Let me add you. And the, the people waiting on you and cussing me stink. Come now. Nah? All right, good. He said he coming, he coming, he coming. So, um, most artists and I are friends. To be honest, I get along with almost every single artist. We have a very good relationship. And because of me being a blogger in the early times where... A lot of these guys in Soka especially never got a lot of promotion. You know, I worked a lot of with them. I've helped them a lot. Social media game, that kind of thing. So for me, it's like literally whenever I want to talk with them, they're just like, Babsy, Babsy, Babsy. And I always tell people that relationships are very important in this industry. It's very important to keep cool with people. It's very important to stay out of drama. It's very important to keep these things. You know what I mean? Because... These guys will disown you. And when they get big, they will just not talk to you ever again. And I'm grateful that I've managed to keep very good relationships with um, the majority of these guys. So he's coming on right now. I just got him. And um, yeah, one of my favorite artists, I actually call Kerwin um, the Soka Millie Vanilli. And the reason I do that is because if you are older, you know who Millie Vanilli is, right? They basically were the face of the music but they had this like big fat ugly looking kind of a man do the writing for them but the reason i call kerwin millie vanilli is because he looks like millie and vanilli but he does the writing too he costing me now here come in accept the invite there kerwin so he never done the facebook um instagram thing here so we taking he virginity today we gonna take he virginity we gonna bring it in <laughs> Look how you get a little intro. Let me see that for you. Let me see that for you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Millie Vanilli is saying, Listen, Millie Vanilli. That's the reason. I call you Millie Vanilli because you do the writing and you do the singing. Millie Vanilli did the singing, but they never did the writing. You sure they do the singing? <laughs> when you check back and they do the live shows and things, it, it, it was um. <laughs> Wait, your, your volume gone? We mean no volume gone. Oh, yeah, there you are, there. that's what I'm trying to say. That was Millie Vanilli. Oh, <laughs> I hear saying that you volume fuck up. 
No. Listen, no. you just do bear cut, you know. Eh? You just do bear cut. I tell you. Well, watch now. I want to do my own show, you know. I'm going to start to do my own show. Yeah? Yeah. What you going to call it? I can't tell you that. <laughs> Who, who's going to be your first guest, though? <laughs> Who is going to be your first guest? Talk cunt tonight. You know, you red skin. If I put some blows in your skunt, you can so, turn red. Wait now, so you're allowed to cuss on this thing too? Yes, I Babsy, I don't give a fucking thing about Ross of the buddy. You can talk what you want to talk about here. What's tell, that? Tell, tell it, Paul he must. Tell Paul he mother come. You nah, I, don't mean? Talk, I don't talk to Paul again. <laughs> I don't talk to Paul again at all. But here, um, yeah, I know the first guest, but I need to I need to do some things like this where we could bring more unification and togetherness in the industry now. Because a lot of people think that soca and soca artists are so divided. But let's right. do this what we're right. doing behind the scenes because we can't put everything on Instagram. We limit it to one minute so we could see. It's true. It's true. It's true. Saying. And sometimes you do a live thing, but you might be in the right place to show them. Right, so I right. I can do my thing, Babsy. And right. you will be, I guess, on my show. Be and you're allowed to say rascal. <laughs> you're allowed to say Paul, your mother. <laughs> you, you can talk to your maker and say, go suck your... <laughs> why, why, why you, Carol, Carol, why you got to be here so? Why? You know what's so funny? People that be like, Kerwin Dubois is so uptight and stuck up. I'm like, if you know this fucking man in real life, no, I must man... switch, switch my hat back. What? Why people let's take? Why? Hold on, I'm gonna turn back my hat now, boy. Oh, God. Turn it back. Turn this it back. Is my, this is my thing here. Them don't know me. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? The whole thing about it with me, right? Right. Is perception and misconception with a lot of people. Enough people be like, if if you try to be yourself, some people would know to take it. Right, right, Because right. they have you in this category where, oh, you're not supposed to be like that. Right, so how right. the fuck am I supposed to be? Exactly. If something upset me, do I say, oh my God, I'm so upset with you right now. I want to cough you down. Yeah. Or no, do I say, I'm going to blow in your butt and, you know, <laughs> you know. And sometimes I feel... Sometimes I feel like if I'm not allowed to be myself now. But people in the chat saying that you're rude in real life for two. I never see you ever. Hold on, what, what, what is rude? Rude in what sense? Uh, you know what it is? Maybe before you go in to perform and people troubling you, you might not want to talk because you, your mind focusing on the performance and they might interpret that as rude. You are probably the funniest soca artist out, out uh, be, besides lyrical, Skinny, you, like you are in the top five funniest, coolest soca artists ever. Uh, you know, Babsy, and I'll give people a chance to see that now. It's just like, boy, how to play, boy? I want people to know the real me. Yeah. Sometimes the me that you see outside is not the me allowed to be out. Correct. You understand? Know, so I ain't work mode. When you go to work, you can get on candles and however you want to get on. Can't. You have to be a certain way. Right. That doesn't mean that's the individual you are. Right. You right. just apply yourself differently because you don't want people to say, "What is this? This is this is what I am a fan of." Right. It's right. kind of, you know. So you have to. And, and for me, it's not pretentious. It's just me being focused on doing my job, right. taking pictures with the fans, doing whatever, make people happy, and go about my business. But you know what? People don't know too. Mm -hmm. you you, there's a lot of haters out here too, so it's hard to know in the crowd who like you from who coming to tell you boy is a fucking cunt. So you <laughs> stand off in everybody because you don't know who coming to tell you. Hey, but you know, for me, what what I thank you for the most is the opportunity to get to learn people. Right. Not everybody is the same. Right. So I can never say you Caribbean people are like this because that's not true. But look because at the first day me and you meet. You're like, you Russell girl, what the fuck you doing? Like, <laughs> and I'm like, you curling the ball, you're thinking dog. And like from then me and you like this, good. You know what I mean? And it's like, uh, no. I'm not sensitive. So
So when yeah. you tell me about Ra, so that I tell you, <laughs> it was like, you know, we click. You know what I mean? I see you in Montreal on the road. You know what I mean? And then me and you just move. And it's like, so when the people tell me, I'm like, yo, Kerwin is one of the safest fucking man out here. You know what I mean? Everybody yeah. got times when they're not happy, they're not, you know, whatever. But I feel like with you, and I know the thing with you is you're an artist pre-social media. Yeah. Now that social media is the ting ting. Yeah. You're not really used to this whole stunting and fronting cunt that a lot of these other artists be doing. No, nah, I, I don't have time for that. I, I really don't have time for that. Right now, I just on on progress and to find some way to push soca to where we need to be because honestly, and I, I, I say this openly, we are very far from where we're supposed to be right now. I agree. And when, when I hear people saying things like, oh God, why are you guys releasing music so late for this season? Um, motherfucker, <laughs> our season is 12 years, I'm sorry, 12 months in a year, right? Yeah. Music. Jamaican artists and hip-hop artists and pop artists, they don't say, oh, our season is from this time to this time. Right. It's music we're doing. We're doing music. And we should, have, we should maintain that kind of focus and ability to reproduce music throughout the year. And have, and, yeah. I get, listen, I'll tell you the honest truth. You are the most requested man. People want to give me music to give to you. And I'm like, Kerwin does write uh -huh. the fucking songs. <laughs> nah, like, it... What would you be willing to do with people? Like, you don't need a writer. You know what I mean? You, yeah. you don't need a writer. But yeah. what, would you, uh, what would you entertain from somebody? A beat? Like, what would you entertain from somebody at this stage in your career? Um, I, I want people around who have a vision to expand soca from where it is. Let me stop with the rum. Let me stop with the wine. Let me stop with the jump, jump, jump. Let me just stop with festival thing. We need to be able to do our thing as openly as we choose to. Right. And stop thinking that, boy, if we don't put rum in anything, or if we don't put flag, or if we don't put wine, this song wouldn't be a hit. That's a shit. Right. I am tired of this. I am real tired of it. And sometimes we try to step out the box a little bit, and then people will be like, nine, I don't know if I like that one. Why, why you don't like it? Because it didn't have certain words that they used to hearing for decades. I mean, come on. We're doing music. And music is an inner feeling. It's something that comes from inner. Me personally, I like to do music for people's soul. I don't want somebody to wake up one day and have the world of problems on their hands and I do a song about drinking rum. Right. So, you remember music is influential. True, it's true. It's very influential. Go drink poison and dead. Go drink poison and dead. Put your hand on them over your head. Them can ash. Yeah. We influential. So people are listening to what we're saying and depending on how you feel daily, you tend to want to take heed and, you know, probably do whatever. But we had to stop this festival thing, boy. I tell you, boy. We had to stop the festival thing. We had to stop the soca being limited to just get on the wrong stations all over the world or only online or in certain Caribbean islands a limited time we get played. I feel for that, boy, because soca music to me, is this is my passion, this is my dream. I represent this. Not for Trinidad today, I represent it for the Caribbean. Right. I am a of the Caribbean. And right. all music, soca music, is one of the most vibrating, pulsating music that you will hear out there. But the listen, mood and the vibe. I put up a clip on my fan page of mm -hmm. the Mighty Arrow performing at the Soul Train. Okay? Yeah. And Every motherfucker in that room was dancing. They wasn't dancing good. Because you know that them Yankees can't really whine. Oh, God, don't but say that. Every single person <laughs> in the room was dancing. And he was singing, um, what's the song he was singing now? Not Bill's Bill's Long Time. We don't yeah. know. Right. And that yeah. was even considered commercial. Yeah. You know, yeah. Hot, hot, hot was commercial. Yeah. So, sang long time and everybody in the room danced and it's like we can still do that why yeah. 
doing that. Do, do you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. And, yeah. And I, I part of the, the fight to try to get people to understand, like, there's certain things that cross over. Mm -hmm. And there's certain songs that people want to hear. And you, you're one of those artists that understand that flavor. Yeah. And but I, I, I broaden my spectrum, my listening to a lot of other genres of music. Um, you know, it's, honestly, I don't listen to soca. Right. When I'm in my creative element. And that is not a disrespect to the to, to soca music. Right, right. I, I have to listen to other songs to see where they're transitioning and going. Right. To make sure that our soca is building and we're on the right path. Right. Because right. we can get lost and continue to song like how we sounded 50 years ago. But you know what's funny? I was listening to um, Super Blue when he was Blue Boy album. Mm. And Super Blue has some songs that was not how Soka was back then and that's what made him stand out because he wasn't singing, you know, dancing to the Soka on this. He, he was singing different stuff to what everybody back then was singing about. Because mm -hmm. people were doing social commentary. Mm -hmm. He was singing Rebecca drink the thing, Rebecca smoke. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it was like, he was doing something totally different. Yeah. And you know, yeah. to me, when you're doing something that's different, you're mm -hmm. revolutionizing the music. I had on Moto. Okay. Moto was on just before you, and yeah. like, Moto is single-handedly bringing the St. Lucian sound to the world right now. You, you know what I mean? Like, by of him. course. In a different way. I, I, like, I like Moto vibes. Trust me, man. Yeah, Moto and vibes. I, and I say... St. Lucia needs to make him some kind of cultural ambassador. Because ah, like if yeah. you want to touch an ambassador, how long will it take soca artists from, like, I use in my country, children, to be branded ambassadors? You have Bonnie Gallin, you have Marshall Montano, you have Destra Garcia, Kess. You know, people like them who consistently make children at the label proud every day. And then, it's like, what does the heads, the rulers of Trinidad and Tobago do to acknowledge the efforts we make to continuously make Trinidad and Tobago proud in a positive way? Right. Because who's the ambassador of Trinidad right now? Karim and Stad. Who? Karim and Stad, yeah. Doubles, roti, bacon, shark. <laughs> That's the ambassadors. But because the thing is, the, uh, the, goal, the goal of an ambassador is a person who brings recognition of the island to the people around the world. So I think that you guys who carry the Trinidadian flag everywhere would be ambassadors, which is why I would say Moto needs to be an ambassador for St. Lucia because he's brought that, you know, Dengare segment, Boyan Soka feel yeah. to the world, like, strong right now. So that's yeah. what think that, right? Babsy, <sighs> right? I don't want to get too political because of my band if I'm coming from my own country. But um, <laughs> I, I think a lot of changes need to be made. Honestly, I had this conversation with somebody too in regards to um, carnival in Trinidad Tobago. And I think that it needs to be revamped and moved. Right. Placed one place for the year. Right. This set of thing every minute one one year Trinidad Carnival is this month. Next right. year this month. Right. No disrespect to, to any religion or anything. Right. Right. We, tend, we tend to base it around Ash Wednesday. Right. right. All well and good. If they realize the importance a carnival is to Trinidad's economy, meaning financial, correct. Put the thing in a place where after Christmas, you know, people pocket in strong like that. Right. So after Christmas, you want to go straight to carnival, you matter. Yeah, yeah because some years, carnival does be early, yes. and then yes. down and, in February, and it's confusing for people like me. Yes, and, and, and the thing is too, we just had a rush to pop music. So you have over 4,000 songs, and this amount of time to play them 4,000. Right. So it's like, what really going on? It's all a rush. Trin Trinidad Carnival is something that is a gold mine to Trinidad. It's so a historic piece to us. 
What do you think about the three hundred thousand dollar prize money now for Soka Monarch? You have an express then, Dax, man. <laughs> Boy, when I read that, I say, yo, they gonna kill this thing, you know. I think I think it's time for it to stop. What what is the importance of Soka Monarch to Soka? Right. That's the question. No disrespect to the competition. What I think Soka Monarch should be is a platform for the younger artists who are coming up. Right. For them to get the recognition they deserve. Let it be for the ones who are not out there, like the ones who are already established. Right, yeah. right. And let that be the platform for them. But when, you know, you see the piece of steak and everybody like, hmm, but that steak worth a kind of money there, the boy, let me go and get it. And you mash down a man hopes and dreams. And yeah. Like, oh, this is my issue with on. the Suka Monarch because it's international. So you, they allow Bajans and Vincies and yep. all these people come to you. Yep. And then it's like, these people stand no chance to compete <laughs> no in chance. Trinidad. No chance. We not right? Real talk. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I've seen songs be huge. Yep. Like, you know, like Saltfish, Skinny Bantan. So, huge yeah. song, you know. Fish. <laughs> and then it's like, he performing it at Soka Monarch and nobody moving because it's like, we don't want to get this man no forward because yeah. we want to turn it out into win tonight. And it's like, then you dash the dreams of these small islanders. And small islanders are very important to Soka. Correct. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, okay. Like, okay, I mean, no matter how big the island, no matter how small the island, we all make Soka music what it is. Correct. It, it comes from. And I, I honestly fed up of certain DJs not taking heed, especially if you call yourself a Soka DJ. Do not just play one island alone, brother. Yep. There is so much to play. But and the that's... problem is that mm -hmm. they'll go to every, most um, DJs go to Trinidad Carnival. Right. But they can't afford crop over because it's Caravana time. Right. Or they can't go to, you know, St. Lucia Carnival, Vinci Carnival. So they don't know the big songs from these carnivals. Yep. And you and I both know that mm -hmm. a song, if you're not at the carnival, mm -hmm. it may not make sense to you when you just hear the song play. Right. Like, I remember a year at Crop Over, there was a song called Wanna Like Dana, Wanna Like Bear Sport Dawa. Yo, <laughs> Kerwin, this song fuck up Barbados. Yeah, but yeah. The man who did the song had a dance and everything to it. So if you didn't see that whole skit and everything, hearing that song in, in, in Toronto in October, it wouldn't make no sense to you why this was a big song. It was like Swappy Bucket. I didn't even understand why this song was big because I personally felt the song was dumb. But for that year carnival, they were like, bucket of this, bucket of that. And it was like this big <laughs> thing. But yeah. I wasn't there. So yeah. I didn't understand why everybody liked this song. So like, it's like, if you don't go to these carnivals, right, mm -hmm. you won't know what's big. So that's why, why I try to make an effort to go to these events. Mm -hmm. So when people will tell me, so when so is huge, I'll be like, I went to 10 carnivals this year and I didn't hear that person play once. Mm -hmm. I don't know how big they could be, mm -hmm. you know, and that's what these DJs don't do. They don't go I, to these uh, carnivals. Suppose, suppose you don't have it like that to visit. Right. All these carnivals that you would like to in the, in the, in the Caribbean, right? How would you get a chance to even hear the song? No my thing, right? And I'm calling out my boy. This is my boy, Private Ryan. Ryan, when you're making a CD, if you want to make a CD that the world, meaning our soca world, will enjoy, boy, put the hits from every island on it. Right. Do outweigh it with, hey. Right. This we you need to hear, boy. Right. Us, let me do it balance. Let me do right. it balance. We have so much talent in the Caribbean, boy. Right. And it's unfortunate that all we hear about is Trinidad, Grenada, St. Vincent, Barbados. Right. It, I mean, it's very unfortunate. We have so much others. Yeah. And then it's like this governance. So these DJs, you know, they'll be like, okay, we'll let two bashment songs slide in this year. We'll let two jab songs slide in this year. You know, we'll let one Buyan song slide in. So it's like you go to Barbies and all these huge songs come out. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, when you go to Fets, you hear bang, bim, and then you hear, you know what I mean? Something from Little Rick, and then that's it. And it's like, you hear nothing else because they're not pushing anything else because it's like, yeah, that's it. Nah, 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 nah. We'll allow two Bajan songs, two Grenadian songs, 
um, Skinny Fabulous, St. Vincent, will allow him in. Maybe an yeah. Empress, Fire Empress, if, you know, there was no fans this year. Like, it's so, like, political and bullshit. And yeah. I try my best to educate people on it, but yeah. it's hard when it's just me, one out here, and a lot of the other people in the industry have a hard time with me because they feel like y'all favor me. Oh, Babsy and so and so and but it's yeah. like you gonna come on a segment with me because you know I'm not gonna do cunt with your name and put your name in <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We're other people now. You know that they're gonna ask you foolishness. So yeah. if we could be professional on the other yeah. side of the fence and push for professionalism, we could help each other. But it's because we wanna do bacchanal and talk foolishness yeah. why we can't interview these artists. Artists yeah. like you don't want to say nothing. Hi, mom. My mom is on the live. Oh, <laughs> oh mama. <laughs> no, but watch my. We could we could be here all night talking about this. And I I don't use social media as an outlet to voice my opinion on my culture and my career because this right. is a career to me. This is something I do because I love doing it. Same start, here. Same here. I, in Calypso. Same you know? here. The way they blings. You see my chin? Yeah. <laughs> you like my chin? Oh, you like my wrist? Look at the flick I see, of that. I, I Ooh, see you nothing. speak past me a day, though. I didn't come free a cunt, but you went long. I said, wait, was that you? You license plate? That's, that got to be Kerwin. But don't play with me. I got something out here that will mash up you. Don't play around, huh? Don't play around. <laughs> I don't know, see. But yeah. But, listen, I got some juice. This is the juicy segment. So you know I'm going to have to ask you some juicy questions. Nothing oh, too uh, harsh, but if people want to know I, something. Call on the line there. I'll take this call. I'm going to call it back. <laughs> Hold on there, brother. Hold on there. So, <laughs> what is your actual height? Because we all have this. Everybody wants to know how tall you are. Short. That is my <laughs> thing. You guys don't stand up. I think so. Hey, let me see how much I look in today. I don't know. <laughs> Very, depending on the shoes I wear. But I'm short. That is my height. Short. You're so what's, fucking... what's, what's, what's the next juicy question? <laughs> the next question. Are you are you actually bald bald or mock bald? Are you real bald or fake bald? You hairline. That's, That's what they wanna know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't I don't I don't care about you hairline. It but really... they wanna know if you to shave it or yes. if it's if yeah. it's like that. Yes. I figure you shave it. Yeah, shave. Because I don't think that you would be going perfectly bald like that in that, a pattern like that. Yeah. Next year is my bald head season. Take it all <laughs> off. Next year, yeah, but I'm hang it up and display. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Next question. Yeah. So what do you just do to prep to start writing for, for, for not the season, just in general? What do you just do? Uh, Boy, yo, know, that's a that process is very a lot. Um, I don't know, but it depends on how I feel. You know, it, it, it's as I say, this this music thing has come from here, and right? I, I wouldn't sit on there and pressure myself like if this is an exam. Although I feel like every year I need to reprove myself, I know, see, it, it all goes with how I feel in at that point in time. Right, yeah. right. For me, it's like environment. I like nice views. I need to be right. able to, to, to be in an open space, not in a hole and casting no light and, and things. I like to be close to nature too. You know, sometimes right. it's yeah. up in the bush and yeah. like, all right, serenity, right. birds, you know, e everything has to be in sync for me. Nice you Okay. Yeah. Okay, nice. Um, so let me ask you another question. I bring questions on. Come, Beige and Soka, what? Before you were big, big, big. I Give me a Bajan Soka song that used to make you act like a madman. Left, right, left, right. The government boot. The government boot. Left, right, left, right. The government. The government. Hey. Why you like that song? In your mouth. You feel I don't know take out. Why you like that song? Because I could do so. <laughs> That was my thing. That was. You're so shit. I, I, yeah. 
I have you another question. Would you what? ever collab with Red Plastic Bag? Um, if the opportunity presents itself in the, in the right way, meaning that it is the right song for the both of us, because sometimes you have collaborations that are just not in sync. Right, right, it's right, right, right. Two of the wrong people. Right. To, right. Just because. Would you, you, you think you would do good with Bounty Killer? For the mercy. Oh. <laughs> oh. Of course. How about Beanie? Beanie oh. Man? Beanie Man? Beanie Man? Yeah, me, I'm starting already by 10 pop. But I'm not sick. Oh, no? Again. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, Bounty, you never know. But it, I might have to switch the dance so because I don't know how much he appreciates our music. I don't know. He, well, he, did a, he, did a, he did a song. He did a crop up. Let me see if I can find it. He did a song. He did a, a crop over song. Uh, the other, oh, here it is. He did a, listen. He did a song, man. Yeah, <laughs> chance the opportunity to see that you understand yeah man I mean, honestly yeah, man. it had a time when i really used to care about what people say and what people think but if you sit down and care about what everybody think and everybody had to say about what they think about you then what if we go do but yeah, yeah boy like, Trust I see me. Listen, outside. these people they're, they're, say i'm a transgender i transgender i said why would i go in soca and I was originally a man, and now I'm a woman. But it would be easier for me to be in Soka as a man. You? Why would I be transgender? That don't make sense. You trans? <laughs> ben, the, listen, the things that these people just say, I'm just like, look, did you eat today? I sure you hungry, you know. I could spare you some mackerel and green banana. Yeah, I understand? Some mackerel and green banana. Hey, listen, when I tell you I love that feature accent, last, like, <laughs> in New York day and we doing um, a video shoot for uh, the song Touchdown and Major was in it now but Major yeah. put on a uh, he put on a piece of Major day for me yo I, I, I go find and play for you keep talking I, 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 <laughs> hey, I have to let you hear this because Major hype stupid stupid talented stupid brother one of the greatest man real good he good like that listen <laughs> This this thing gonna cut us off because we on too long. So we gonna have to. It, it gonna take me off. I can restart it. I can restart it and we, I add you right back. All right. No, you have to. Come on. Yeah, yes. we're not catching you again. Another two years on the Babsy. Come on. I know. The, listen, I show enough. I get Kerwin on an interview where he you know, interview with somebody. <laughs> so let me come and I'm, let me invite you right back right now. Okay. Good. Got it done. All right. Good. good. Yes, guys, we're gonna just start back getting this live. Get in, everybody. <laughs> I expect to have Kerwin on so long, you know. I was like, Kerwin, we gonna do 10 minutes. He's like, 10 minutes. That's it, 10 minutes. That's it. Start it. Trust me. 
He could write too, you know. The man yeah, got a good writer, boy. Trust good me. Guy. Good guy. Good guy. Come play the thing for me there now, man. Hold on, man. Continue to talk. I'll find it. It's not so easy to find. Hold on. Let me find something fair for the people then. Let me go, let me play let me play let me play the song for you. You song here that you showing off about. Go on here, check that. Bob. You ready for me now? <laughs> 
<laughs> Watch this. Yeah, 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 real Bajan accent, yeah. Yeah. <laughs>
Like Ram Ram. I just oh. pull him up. You go, Ram Ram. You see them there? <laughs> Let me see if I can find that one for you. Oh, God, that was, that was uh, back in the days when I was in secondary school and I played that thing, but it's bare skin out or not? Yeah? What? Show me skin out or not. Show me. 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 So you was part Debbie then. You had some Debbie ness to you. You was part Debbie. You was part Debbie. But <laughs> anyhow, Kerwin man, big up yourself. Love you all the time. Thank you, you so much for coming through tonight. Shout yeah. out to people in the chat room and tell some people good night. Read them names and tell them good night. Give them personal shout outs. Get some personal shout-outs. On the COVID number one suite. And and Cobb. And Jake. Who's that? Statement Amanda. That, that's a bigger statement, Vicky. Mwah. I've, oh boy, that thing's so small, boy. But what did you call this? One slick. One up, one slick check. Soka Flex Bless. The original orange. This was fun. It was fun, number one suite. Narine. Oh, God, boy, Narine. Narine. <laughs> one sweet. Mwah. Josie Super Mwa. 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 Kevin Simon, don't kiss me. No, Kevin Simon. Yeah, uh, right, no. Next thing you know, I get it. Next thing you know, you're in your favorite stress. I love you again. We're going to link again. Yeah, man. Big Some... up yourself, man. Yo, we going to talk deep. We can talk deep soon on a vlog because I want to talk about some of them topics there. So we gonna Definitely. link up and talk. All right. Think up yourself. Talk, Love you. Bye. Uh so there you have it, Kerwin Dubois passing through. A lot longer than we thought we were gonna go for. I really rate that man there. I really, I'm so grateful that a lot of you guys got to see a side of him that you normally don't see. That is the Kerwin Dubois that I know. He is hilarious. He is funny. He is deep. So now that we got Kerwin and we voted for him, we voted for Allison Hines and we get Allison Hines. We voted for Kerwin Dubois and we get Kerwin Dubois. So who are we voting for for next week, Thursday? I'm not telling you. When they show up, they going to just show up. So give me the name. Hey, Indian, what's up? Give me the name of some people now that you want me to bring on next week, Thursday. So we had Denise Belfont, Allison Hines, Kerwin Dubois, and Moto. So who we bring in next? Because I's the only motherfucker that can get this dude. Somebody say the voice. Somebody say Kess. Somebody, oh, the voice. You say the voice already. I know for over 20 years, he always clicks. Patrice Roberts. Shell Marshall. Patrice, Kess, Fayan, Voice, Kess, Lyrical, Kess, Shal, Voice. <laughs> so I see in Voice, Shal, Kess, Linky first, Orlando Octave, Kess. So Kess looks like he's in the lead right now. Voice, Kess, lyrical. So we will see who we're going to get. Uncle Ellis. DJ Panras, go to you fucking bed. So Patrice Roberts, Voice, Fayan, and Kess. We're going to see what we can do for you guys next week. As you know, I will never tell you who I'm bringing. I just brought, brought, drop, uh, bring it down, brought. Drop them out just like that. You understand? So you know how that thing does go. So big up everybody that came on tonight. I'm glad we're enjoying this segment. Um, I call this segment Juicy Segment because Juicy is a drink in the Caribbean. And you know I name all my um, segments after something Caribbean-ish. So I figured that um, that might be a good thing. So we will be back here next week, Thursday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Let me find a track for us to go out to. Bajan. Love you too, statement. Big up yourself. Um, let me see if I could find 
you know Kerwin was in church. Let me find a song that was playing when Kerwin was in church. Because you know we fucky up tonight, though. He's a good guy, though, man. You have to big up Kerwin all the time. This is a good one. You guys might know this one. I'm gone, guys. Love you. <laughs> bye, Mom. Bye, Dwayne. All my family watching. Next week, 9 p.m. <laughs> Bye.